guys, here we are um, coming up on Ard Boys round two. Brother Captain James and I are traveling up to Maine to play in uh, the Three Geeks, play at the Three Geeks. And I'm going to be making a series of posts. I'm going to make three of them. Um, first one will be this one, which will talk about my changes to the list and the fairly simple <clears throat> uh, scenario one and what tactics I plan on using. I, you know, I got a little board set up here at home. Um, I'm going to go through with what my list used to be, um, which you guys should know. Sorcerer, Sorcerer, uh, Lash, um, and he had personal icons and melt bombs I didn't really use the melt bombs um, It's kind of almost a little bit up in the air in the game club. Whether I, some people say I can use it against other guys. Some people can say I can only use it against vehicles, and I don't really know. I don't really. Well, well if someone lets me, someone lets me. But I'm changing it. So um, then next I had uh, well the elites, the five man chosen squad, four with meltas, one with melt bombs, a rhino, dozer blade, and a combi melter, which worked out pretty well. I'm deciding to keep it in the following list, and then. I had five troops, one five-man Plague Marine squad, two with Meltas, and the other four were seven-man Plague Marines, uh, two with uh, with two Meltas. Three-man uh, biker squad, two with Meltas. I like the way they did, and um, I'm going to keep them. Well, and then um, for heavy support, I had nine Obliterators, which are pretty sick. What the new list will entail is pretty much. It's much closer to my, my 1750 list, except just a little harder. Um, so I've got four troop squads, um, and they're all the same except for two of the rhinos. I had extra points, uh, and I gave them extra armor. And I'm going to do that, uh, and I'm going to keep the sorcerer in there because there are quite a few times if it's uh, shaken, um, it gets, um, I can't shoot out of it unless, or lash out of it unless I get the sorcerer. So I'm going to give uh, extra armor a try, and I don't normally do that. I've got the normal sorcerers, two sorcerers, um, but I'm only giving them personal icons. I'm not giving them melt bombs. I'm op open to changing that because um, I could easily, from the elite squad, I got a five man chosen squad, four with meltas, and one guy with a melt bomb. And that was in the event that I could walk off when I'm out flanking, um, but that doesn't look like that'll be able to happen. So I could easily switch that up to the sorcerer, but I don't. In a, I don't want to get my sorcerer in a situation that he has to use his melt bombs anyway. But it would be a nice um, last ditch effort if I had to have it. Um, three man biker cast space marine biker squad. Same two with melt is the same thing as before, and then nine of blitz. So um, it's these guys for when I'm setting up. It, it will be. I'll be using this as a group of obliterators. I know you guys haven't seen this guy, and that's as close of a uh, pick pick as I'm gonna get. But he's, I call him my slug lord, um, and he's he's pretty cool. He's damaged, um, and I'm gonna finish him someday. So these are gonna be the uh, oblitz when I get up and um, actually play out a scenario. So. Scenario one is a modified annihilation minute mission. Excuse me, with the deployment it is a pitched battle. Uh, the modif modifications to it is that troops count as three kill points. Uh, fast heavies and elites count as two. HQ and anything else count as one. Uh, things that don't take up things that are generated in the game, like. Um, some demon creates nerglings, those don't count. Uh, tomb spiders that are, or tomb spiders, tomb spiders that create um, the scarabs, those don't count. The actual scarabs don't count. Um, but believe me, I don't think we'll be running into any necrons. So, a couple of the armies that if I had to face in the whole tournament, um, if I had to face demons at all, which I don't want to on several for several reasons, their game effectiveness. I don't. I this is the game that I or the scenario that I would want to play demons if I have to. Uh, armies that I would fear during this scenario are obviously guard. Um, uh, in any like Tau, you know, might be pretty nasty if a guy knows what he's doing. Um, if that's the case. Shit, to be honest with you, I, I thought about it. I don't even know um, what I would really plan on doing. If I'm fighting guard, I'm going to reserve everything off, except for my big guns. I'll put a squad here. Maybe a, a squad here. I'll hide in cover as much as I can, you know, and there's, these represent three guys, you know, and they'll be positioned around cover. I'm going to keep my troops back as far as possible. Since I don't have to go and go out and uh, capture an objective there's no sense in me risking uh, my actual troops 
Um, the only problem is there's plenty of strength eight uh, weapons or AP2 uh, that can really pound me, especially um, if they get close enough, uh, or with guard, or with with Tau. I think a couple of their rail guns or something like that can really blast me. So um, I'll use terrain to as much of my advantage as possible. If I win the die roll for first and second turn on annihilation, I'll probably take the first turn. So if, um, but then. That's if I decide to have my uh, blitz on the board and up and running. Will I outflank? Uh, that's a huge question. That will be that will really kind of just depend. Yeah, I will outflank because whether I decide to crash his his, his flanks um, in his half of the board um, will really depend on the situation. I may just drive him on here and try and hide him. You know, hide my troops. Um, so it, it would really depend on the army that I'm facing. If it's a close combat army, I most likely will start on the board. Um, you know, like Orc Horde or something like that. Um, I'll at least start two of them on there. And uh, try and draw them in and, and, you know, pull one unit, push the rest back uh, with the sorcerers and stuff and, and just blast him. Um, guys, here are a few things I, I wanted, a few more things I wanted to mention uh, about scenario one, and then in the tournament in general. Um, tournament or scenario one, I, I don't really see there being a huge use of my lashes because I really am going to imagine it's being like a shootout at the OK Corral, and not that I have that many big guns, so um, this could be a big mistake. You know, it will depend on by not me by surging by not surging forward with my troops and therefore not risking them. I'm, I'm going to be denied shots with my melt the guns that really can kick some butt and re and, um, and uh, reap some kill points. Okay, that's what I have to say about scenario one. Um, but about the tournament in whole. I didn't, when I was taking notes, I didn't really write down, I, I read through them and I, I, I personally paid attention to the bottle, the battle point modifiers, uh, like the, the plus one, you can get a, pl a total of plus four. In these tournaments, um, you don't necessarily want to get massacres all the way through, in, unless you can do it. Like last year, the reason I got knocked out of the semifinals, I massacred the first guy, massacred the second guy. The, the third and final game, we knocked each other out. He was playing a guard army, um, you know, like he would, a troop choice, uh, was a, and it was a kill point missing. So he put a kill point, uh, or put a platoon or like a unit over here, then one over there. And he split his army literally in half. So I got one kill point, he got one point. I kicked his nuts in up to his throat, but um, that's how, so what I'm trying to say is be careful about like, um, you might want it, to, it's best to be going into the final round in like, let's say, third, uh, third or fourth place because then you're playing, not maybe not necessarily a less caliber opponent, but the guys who are in first, they've been massacring people, so they obviously know what's going on. Um, so there is thought to be had about your placement and, and where you want to be coming into the final round because I can't tell you how many times um, going into the third uh, third round final game uh, and then I two people knock you know butt heads and knock each other out so give it some consideration and decide whether you want to uh, get as many kill points or bonus points as possible